Over two weeks ago, the Asus ROG Strix SCAR 2 GL504 arrived on my desk, ready for review. After catching my breath from reading the name out aloud, I opened the backpack and pulled out this neat yet hardy piece of equipment. Curiosity struck as the sleek gunmetal brush design left me wondering what was under the hood. A simple one-fingered flick was all that was required, and I was in. Starting up the machine was the next step. I pushed down on the raise power button. RGB lighting spilled across the keyboard to the front and back of the laptop. A sudden audible whip of the Republic of Gamers logo flashed across the screen. The laptop which had my curiosity at first, now had my attention. At its core, the Asus Strix SCAR 2 has been designed for FPS gamers, with the promise of being able to play some of the most demanding titles on ultra settings with frame rates that hold up to the test. In the attempt to deliver on their promise, Asus have loaded up the laptop with an 8th gen Intel Core i7 6 core processor, 16 gigabits of RAM, an Nvidia GeForce 1060 8 gigabytes DDR5 graphics card, and with all that essentially under the hood, things look promising for the Asus ROG Strix SCAR 2 GL504. From a display point of view, you can expect a 15.6 inch 1080p Full HD experience with a 144Hz IPS level high refresh rate display, which is nothing short of impressive. The bezel surrounding the screen is almost unnoticeable on the top and sides. When you compare it to its predecessor, the ROG Strix SCAR, you can see that they've made a massive improvement here. The bottom of the screen is finished off nicely, with a reflective Republic of Gamers logo and a 720p webcam on the lower right hand side. I found that the placement of the webcam was less than ideal, but by no means a deal breaker. The viewing angles on the screen left little to be desired, as the colouring and image quality holds up even at the most awkward of angles. To meet your gaming and potential streaming needs, there's no shortage of ports either. On the left hand side you'll find space for your power cable as well as Ethernet port, display port, HDMI port, 2x USB 3.0s, 3.5mm audio jack as well as your USB-C just for good measure. And on the right hand side we have an SD card reader which is great for those content creators on the go, 1x USB 3.0 and a Kensington lock port just in case you feel like strapping this one down. Moving away from the internals and towards the look. The fully contrasted brushed gunmetal grey hood with RGB logo in the front has been finished off nicely. Perhaps one of the most unnecessary but ultimately my favourite cosmetic addition has to be the front facing RGB light panel which adds a stylish finish that just looks really cool. While the laptop charged in the dark I couldn't help but get the feeling that the pulsating logo and front facing RGB panel were calling me over to take to my next online adventure. There were features that I never really thought I would love as much as I did. But maybe I've been converted away from the dark side and towards the RGB light. At the base of the laptop, the most noticeable feature is the 4 zone backlit RGB keyboard. Surrounding the keyboard is a carbon fiber styled look where half the base is diagonally spread with a grayscale Kevlar inspired camouflage design. I couldn't help but love the camo finish as it reminded me of and could potentially be an unofficial homage to one of my favorite movies of all time, Hackers. Four, three, two, one. Welcome to our show, Hack the Planet. Hack the Planet! In addition to the camouflage carbon fiber design, the smudge proof surface meant that fingerprints weren't going to be showing up anytime soon, which kept some of my more OCD behaviors at bay. The transparent WASD keys are exclusive to the SCAR models, which cater to the FPS gamer. The buttons on the keyboard feel tactile and punchy, with a 1.8mm travel distance between keys, which translates to a usage that feels responsive and intuitive. It's quite surprising how much they've managed to fit into the base alone. You can find an additional numpad as well as navigational keys further on the right hand side of the keyboard. Moving away from the traditional, there are four quick select keys at the top of the keyboard, namely two volume control buttons, a mute microphone button and the ROG Gaming Center hotkey. Under the base of the keyboard we have the trackpad, which comes in at a fairly large size. With a silky smooth finish, the trackpad is rather functional, as it is Microsoft Precision Certified, which means that it responds to gestures like two finger scrollers and three finger tab switching. There is also more than enough room on the trackpad to promote the usage of these gestures. The trackpad additionally offers enough contrast of feel which makes it easy to find when you're not paying attention. 
At the base of the trackpad are two physical buttons which give clear and concise feedback when used. Should users, however, wish to carry around an external mouse, there is always the option to turn off the trackpad completely. Remember that ROG Gaming Center hotkey we talked about earlier? Well, that launches one of the key points of software, the ROG Gaming Center. The Gaming Center is at the core of customization for your Asus G Series laptop. The visuals of the software are well struck together and are largely informative, providing all of your required system information at a glance, including the CPU, GPU, RAM and HDD usage. You are additionally able to check up on your respective temperature and memory of both your CPU and your GPU at a glance. Should you be the type of gamer that uses different settings for various titles or have multiple users on the laptop, you'll find the quick load game profiles a welcome addition. While controlling the internal visuals are fantastic via the game visual shortcut, the real pleasure is being able to toy with the color schematics and see them change on the fly via the ROG Aura Core. From here you can play with your keyboard illumination and the LEDs on the front and top of the laptop. There are over 7 effect presets to select from and 3 tempo paces, slow, medium and fast respectively. As far as sound goes, you can extensively adjust the speakers via the Sonic Studio and Sonic Radar. I wasn't expecting too much from the speakers, but I was pleasantly surprised at how great they sounded, especially for that of a gaming laptop. Moving along to the gaming graphics and performance, the ROG SCAR 2 graphics card NVIDIA GTX 1060 Core i7 provided a stable base to get the ball rolling with almost all games being able to run on high settings with decent frame rates that sit comfortably around the 100fps mark. The game which received the most time on the laptop was none other than Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Well, coming in from a mostly console based background, sacrilege to mention in a laptop review I know, I was taken aback by how beautiful the game looks compared to its console brethren. Colours popped, the viewing distance was superb and the beauty of being able to play at an average of 100 frames plus per second on high settings was a massive pleasure. Should you wish to maintain a constant 144 FPS, you may want to drop your settings down to around about medium to high for those that are more competitively inclined. It's not only FPS titles that have to gain from the beefed up components, I found that third person titles like Fortnite and MOBAs like League of Legends were a joy to experience on the laptop as well. Being productive on the Asus Strix SCAR 2 is an absolute pleasure. The laptop offers fantastic overall performance when facing high tier tasks like rendering video, which has close to no throttling. As for streaming, the laptop is an absolute machine. You won't find yourself lagging between scene selection and the entire process just quite simply works. Travelling with the laptop is also a warm welcome as the Wi-Fi capabilities are superb. Making use of an Intel 802AC multi-antenna gigabit Wi-Fi allows you to connect at an impressive range. The Wi-Fi delivers speeds of up to 1.7 gigabits per second, which means that if you are based in South Africa, you should be good for the next decade or so. While on the go, you'll need to be sure to take your power adapter with you, as battery life can be rather short, especially when you are looking to complete demanding tasks. I achieved around 3 hours battery life on saving settings where the screen brightness was adjusted, RGB lighting was turned off and basic web browsing with some video time was sprinkled in between. Overall, the Asus ROG Strix SCAR 2 has been an absolute pleasure to game, work and stream with over the past two weeks. The Core i7 processor combined with the GTX 1060 GPU delivers a bang of power which spreads across into every task that you try to push the laptop to undertake. The monitor is not to be scoffed at either as the quick fire response rate delivered to you on the 144Hz 15.6 inch monitor is nothing short of impressive. The colors pop, the frame rates hold up and the smile will slowly stretch across your face as you come to grips with this fine specimen of machinery. The keyboard, in addition to being backlit, is no gimmick. It is simply the best keyboard that I've ever used on a laptop and is a pleasure to both type and game with. Looks can sometimes be deceiving, but with the Asus Strix SCAR 2 was not only good to look at, but also had performance to back up its sleek design. The RGB customization and lighting allows you to add your own flavor, which brings a personal touch to the machine, which I absolutely loved. 
I highly recommend the Asus ROG Strix card to, to anybody that is in the market for a high-end gaming laptop right now.